My name is Joseph Wakabi from Leading Edge Institute. At Leading Edge Institute, we train, coach, and mentor people to achieve their God-given destinies. And we believe that every one of us has potential. Every one of us is born with a seed of greatness. And that we need to ensure that we bring that seed into the light of the world to make an impact in this great world. And as Dr. Myers Mundro would say, that the greatest tragedy in this world is not death, but it is life without a purpose. And that the greatest, the richest place in the universe is in the graveyard. Because in the graveyard, we have books that were not written. We have songs that were never sung, businesses and ideas that never saw the light of the world. And we want to ensure that we bring out this greatness into this world and make an impact into this world. This, this day we want to discuss about pursuit of success. And we want to ask ourselves, what is all this about success? Is success about the money that I have in my, my bank account? Is it about the many businesses that I have started? Is it about my career? Is it about what we can see, the opulence? Or is it something that I'm pursuing? And I want to give a defin definition that was given by L. L. Nightingale. And L. Nightingale said that success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. What ideal am I pursuing? David uh, Henry Thoreau said that if, when a man advances confidently in the direction of his dreams and endeavor to live the life that he has imagined, then he's going to meet with a success unexpected in common hours. What am I pursuing? What is my pursuit? Am I pursuing my dreams? Am I uh, going towards the direction of my, of my dreams. And this day we want to discuss about how do we ensure that we continue to make an impact through the successes that we're going to achieve in this world. And I want to give about three or four points that we're going to ensure that we are pursued and things that we're going to do in this world to ensure that we live a fulfilling life, we live a life of impact, we live a life that is going to make a difference in this world. And one of the things that I want to say is that for me to be successful, I need to build a picture of what I want in my life. I need to think and live from the end. What is this that I want to achieve for the many years, for the many days that I'm going to live in this world? What am I pursuing? And am I confidently going towards that dream? Do you have a goal in your life? Do you have a focus in your life? Whatever you focus on grows. Where your focus is, energy flows. What I want to add just this day is do you have a purpose that you're moving towards and that you're working towards that goal that you have set? It has been found and research has been found that people who set goals and ensure that those goals are written, they usually have a better uh, impact in terms of their income, in terms of uh, the, the impact they make in the, in the world as opposed to people who never have goals. So my question this day, what is your goal? Are you walking towards it? And after you set your goals, the other thing that you need to ensure that we do, we need to ensure that we take responsibility of our actions. We need to ensure that we take 100% responsibility of our life. No one is going to walk this journey for you. We may be walking in this journey, so many of us, and we are together, but I have to do it myself. Am I taking maximum responsibility of my action? Or is it about blaming others? Is it about, uh, is it about uh, looking at others and um, making it you know, an assumption that your life is being dictated by the economy, by the family that you came from? You need to ensure that you take massive responsibility of your life. 
we need to take an action. A story is told of four frogs that were perched on a tree and uh, five frogs that were perched on a, on a, tree, on a branch and uh, four, of the, four of the frogs decided to jump. And the question is, how many frogs were left there? People usually say that one frog was left because there were five, but four decided to jump. But the question is not about the decision to jump. The issue is, did all the frogs make the jump? Are you going to make the jump? Majority of us, we are living a life med of mediocrity. We are living an average life because we make decisions, but we rarely take the action that is necessary for us to achieve our dreams and for us to achieve our goals. We need to value movement. Life happens at the level of movement. Life does not happen at the level of decision making. Life happens at the level of movement. And therefore, as an individual, you need to ask yourself, what is this action that I'm going to take? What is this action that I will start effecting from today so that I can achieve the goal that I have set for my life. The other thing that we need to do is we need to ensure that we have an aspect of continuous learning. Robin Sharma would say that our education is inoculation against um, dis disrupt disruption. Education is inoculation against our ignorance and therefore you need to ensure that we engage in a continuous learning it is a process that we're going to take and for me to be um for me to be perfect in what i do for you to be perfect in uh, the craft that you have in uh, the business that you have you need to ensure that you continually learn, you continually sharpen uh, your skills, you continually enhance your competence, competence, and that will help you to go into the next level and ensure that you're not among the averages and you can be able to rise above the average and bring about the impact that you need to make in this world. So friends, I want to ask you, what is this that you have been yearning to do? What is this that you have been looking forward to achieving in this life? What is this that you want to have, to be and to do? And unless you take an action, unless you set a goal, unless you take massive action, unless you continue to enhance your competence, then you will still be where you are five years to come. You will still be at the same position. And therefore this day, I want to urge you that you need to start. Start now. Start with what you have. Start with the fears that you're fearing. Start with the doubts. Start, but do not stop. You need to take a massive action. You need to take and to make a decision that I'm not going to live the kind of a life that I've been living. You know, we have been living in our comfort zones, but it is time that we decided that our growth is outside our comfort zone. Are you willing to move out of your comfort zone and venture into the uh, uh, blue ocean? You know, venture into uh, you, 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 your desires, venture into your capabilities and your potentials and make sure that you leave this world a better place 20 years from now you'll be more disappointed by the things that you did not do than by the things that you did so you need to throw off the lethargy you need to sail away from the safe harbor as Mark Twain would say and you need to ensure that you pursue the goals and the dreams that you have have a great day as you continue to pursue your dreams thank you